Hello students, I am Dr. Kavita Yadav, Assistant Professor, Government First Grade College, Rajajinagar. Today, I will be talking about ATMs. As you all know students, ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine. See, these machines are uh, another mode of electronic fund transfer. These machines helps the customers to do his withdrawals, to check his balances, to make payments of his bills, to get mini statements of his balances, bank balance, etc. Okay, there are different types of ATMs that are functional. So, let us know what are the different types of ATMs. Firstly, biometric ATMs. Students, if a customer has to operate in an ATM, he has to use his card, use his PIN number uh, or a password, the uh, machine will identify the customer and then he can carry on his banking transactions. But in biometric ATMs, these machines use a biometric measure to identify the customer. The biometric measure can be the face of the customer, the finger of the customer or sometimes the retina of the customers too. Okay, so these biometric uh, ATMs are useful for rural folk as well as urban folk. Rural people may find difficult to remember the numbers and operate the ATMs with numbers. So, they can use biometric ATMs and uh, now these ATMs also help to reduce the misuse of cards and PIN numbers. Okay, next we have got solar energy based ATMs. In these ATMs, solar panels will be installed. It will generate energy and based on that energy, these ATMs will function. These are cost effective and eco-friendly ATMs. And usually it is very useful for rural sector people because they face lot of electricity issues. Next, we have got mobile ATMs. These mobile ATMs are also called as ATMs on wheels because they keep moving from one area to another area and serve that area people to carry on their banking transactions. It is like getting the bank to the doorsteps of the customers. A lot of people use the services of mobile ATMs. Then next, on-site ATMs. On-site ATMs are those ATMs which are located in the branch premises. Suppose you go to a Vijaya Bank. In Vijaya Bank premises, if there is an Vijaya Bank ATM, it is an example of on-site ATMs. Okay. Next, we have got off-site ATMs. They are located at various other locations other than branch premises. Okay. Next, we have got online ATMs. Uh, online ATMs are ones that are connected to the bank's database students and give real-time services to the customers. Any number of transactions, any amount of uh, um, withdrawals uh, and banking uh, transactions can be carried on by the customers, but it will be supervised or monitored by the banks. So, they are online ATMs. Next, we have got offline ATMs. See, these offline ATMs are not connected to the database of the banks. Therefore, the banks would have prefixed the withdrawal limit for such customers. So, within that fixed um, uh, ceiling itself, the customers have to do their withdrawals. If not, actions will uh, action will be taken on such customers. So, these are offline ATMs. There are also color-coded ATM students which are giving different types of services. We will look into those now. See, first one is pink label ATMs. See, these pink label ATMs are installed mainly to serve the women to carry on their banking transactions. Here, the security person sees that the women uh, safely enter the ATMs and carry on their business or banking transactions exclusively meant to the women uh, women folk okay next you have got green label atms green label atms provide service for agri transactions you can find these uh, uh, green label atms in rural sectors which will help the rural folk to carry on their agricultural transactions next yellow label atms these are used for e-commerce banking we also have got orange label ATMs. These are exclusively to provide 
uh, for share transactions. You can find these in and around the stock markets and when orange label ATMs you find, you should know it is meant for share transaction students. On the basis of importance, if we have to classify the uh, ATM students, we can classify it into three heads. Firstly, bank owned ATMs, white label ATMs and brown label ATMs. Okay, before I talk about white label and brown label ATMs, we will know what is bank owned ATMs. Bank owned ATMs are nothing but those ATMs which are owned by the banks. That is those ATMs which are installed and operated by the bank. For example, if an SBI bank installs the um, ATM machine and takes care of all the operational cost of that machine, then we call it as bank owned ATM. For example, there are different types of cost they have to bear such as they have to bear the cost of the machine, they have to bear the cost of CCTV cameras, they have to bear the cost of maintenance, electricity, rent and also salary to the security person. So when installation and operation of that whole ATM is managed by the bank, we call it as bank owned ATMs. Okay. So now I will talk about white label ATMs which is one of the important concept which the student should be aware. In 2014, the RBI decided that the ATMs have to be expanded. It should reach to various corners of the country so that maximum people use the services of ATMs. So they decided till then the banks were installing the ATMs and taking care of the operations of those ATMs too. Here in 2014, RBI decided that the ATM operations and installations should also be given to NBFCs. What are NBFCs means? These are non-banking financial companies. Okay. What do you mean by NBFCs means? Those companies which are not into banking services or banking activities. So such companies should also be given license to install and operate the ATMs. It was decided in 2014. So RBI set some guidelines uh, where, wherein based on those guidelines licenses would be given to NBFCs. What was the guideline means? First and foremost it should be an incorporated Joint stock, uh, joint stock company registered under Companies Act 2013. Secondly, it should not be into banking activities. Thirdly, the net worth of such NBFCs should exceed more than 100 crores. Okay, so such NBFCs could apply to uh, RBI to get license to run the white label ATMs. The RBI would check the credentials of such companies and give the license to such NBFCs to run white label ATMs. Okay, And the first company which got the license from RBI to run white label ATM was Tata Communication Sol uh, Payment Solutions Limited. Okay, So they run the ATMs in the name of Indy Cash. Fine. Now, let us know some of the important features of white label ATMs. As I told you students, the white label ATMs are set up, owned and operated by non-bank entities. Okay. Here also in these ATMs also, any customer can come use any bank's card and carry on his banking transactions. But this ATM will not have the logo of any bank or will not do the branding of any bank. So this is one of the important point to be noted. It will run in the name of the NBFC that is Indy Cash. It will run in the name of the same but it will not promote or it will not brand any, comp uh, any bank's logo. Okay. So that is one of the speciality of white label ATM. From where will these white label ATMs get cash to do uh, to help the customers to carry on their 
banking transaction means the cash is got by white label atms through centralized banks through private banks and also through rbi okay so from that cash they will uh, see that the bank uh, the customers will carry on their banking transactions fine then what is the benefit or what is the profitability or how what is the source of income for white label atms means they generally run on commission model okay see for every banking transaction there will be a service charge that will be charged by these white label atms for example if you go for a withdrawal they will charge 14 rupees per withdrawal if you want to know the bank balance 4 rupees if you want to pay the uh, uh, bills 4 rupees so this is one of the revenue generation for these white label atms and you may also see some advertisements that are displayed in these atms so those advertisements also is the source of generation of revenue for these atms okay see these atms also increase financial inclusions we tell why because rbi when it is giving license for such nbfcs they would have put a clause stating that the a fixed number of atms should also be started in tier 3 and tier 4 regions that is which covers rural area taluks and hoblies so as it is stated in the clause these white label atms will also be operational in tier 3 and tier 4 regions so more and more people will be included in carrying on banking activities so it increases financial inclusions and also reach wider geographical areas okay here cash withdrawals are uh, uh, cash withdrawals can be made students but cash deposit facility is not present and i have already told you best example of white label atm is in the cash so next we will talk about uh, brown label atms see what do we mean by brown label atms means it are it is those atms where bank outsources the installation and operational activities of their atms for example if sbi has to start a um uh, atm in rural sector what it may do is it will outsource the installation and operational cost to third parties we also call them as service provider he may also be a person of that rural area okay so installation and operation cost all that is borne by that service provider okay that is the hardware cost Uh, the rent the salary to the security there are various costs which we discuss no all that is borne by the service provider or it is borne by the third party okay then who will fill cash into the atm means it will be done by sbi bank only so the uh, cash management and the network connectivity will be taken care by the sbi bank or by that particular sponsor bank okay therefore the logo of that bank will be displayed in brown label atm so logo of that particular sponsor bank here in example it is sbi bank so logo of the sbi bank and branding of that bank will take place in brown label atm okay so cash management is there as database is there as uh, database also they will help but installation and operational cost alone is borne by the service provider what is the benefit for the service provider he will be getting here also commission uh, he will be getting commission from the sponsor bank and what is the benefit for the bank means it decreases the setup cost of atms cash is banks um Uh, uh but operational cost and installation cost is that of the service provider okay so both the parties are benefited in brown label atms so example of brown label atms is again muthoot finance and also indi cash so therefore there are different types of atm students which has become a part and parcel of every man's life okay thank you